Sam, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I actually transformed myself into like a clown slash skull slash gangster. I don't I don't even know where this went, uh, but I really like how it came out. Uh, I found a picture on Pinterest and I really really like how it looked and I kind of like wanted to like take inspiration and like low-key recreate it, but it obviously didn't come out exactly as a girl that, you know, did it on Pinterest, but I actually really like how this looks. I mean, it looks, to me, it looks pretty cool. I usually don't do Halloween looks, and this is kind of like my third, yeah, third or fourth time trying a Halloween look, and I actually really like how this came out. So before I get started, please don't forget to subscribe in the little bit down there, and if you want to know how I got this look, then just keep on watching. I'm <laughs> a little nervous because this is, I mean... I've never done like Halloween looks and I'm just stepping out of my comfort zone for this year because I mean it's just makeup so let's just have fun with it. I put up a picture right here. Um, this is the picture I found on Pinterest and I loved how she did the clown face um, but I don't know it's very like glam and like with the glitter on the lips. I don't know, I just thought it was really really cool. So what I'm going to start by is I kind of want to have my eyebrows done. So they can kind of like shape kind of like where I'm going and she obviously has very dark brows I'm going to use my Suba Beauty Hydra, Hydra Liner in the shade Grease which is the black one and I'm going to be shaping my eyebrows um, I'm going to try and do like a really curved arch kind of like the way I used to do my brows and now I do them super bushy, but and if throughout the video you guys hear like outside noises, um, they're working on some of these apartments here. And I mean, right now I kind of just want to have this shape down. I'm going to start by using a gray shade, gray shade, which is this one right here called Urban. And first, just because I want to start like mapping kind of like my face structure. And I think I'm going to need a smaller mirror. start connecting this to my brow. And at the end of the tailbone of my eyebrow, that's where I'm going to kind of like square and then go up. I'm going to go ahead and do the dots and I'm going to take just the back of that
I'm going to start following my like kind of like natural contour line. And then I'm gonna take it a little bit further and then I'm gonna kind of like do a hook. Taking a little bit on the apples of our cheeks. And then doing that hook. I use it right now because it's just a sketch, so you're gonna see it. For right now, um, I'm gonna go back and work on my eyes real quick just because I wanna have my eyes ready. So I'm gonna be taking a really fluffy brush and I'm gonna take kind of like a brown shade with a kind of like reddish undertone. So I'm gonna be taking this one right here and I'm gonna be applying that all over my crease. And I did prep my eyelids with the P. Louise base in the shade Boomer 2. I'm going to take this and bring it really high up on the brow bone. And I'm just using a really fluffy brush. This is an M441 by Morphe. I'm gonna go ahead and start working on shading that skull-like face. So I'm just gonna grab that same brush that we were using, the Morphe E36, and I'm gonna start by taking the black from that palette. And now with this, you're really gonna take your time and just blending and blending. So I'm gonna start off by kinda like going over that gray that we have put first. And just going over that. And then I'm going to go in and grab a fluffier brush. This is a crown brush, Stiff Taper Crease C139. And I'm going to grab the black one again, and I'm going to start kind of like shading down that black. For the ones on our eyes, I'm actually going to go in in the corner and start adding more of that black, just in the corners. Morphe M452, which is another like kind of like longer, fluffier brush. And this is going to help us start blending uh, the brown. 
So we're actually going to take the same brown that I took on my crease and I'm going to blend that down here. So I'm actually going to take that black from the James Charles palette and I'm actually going to start blending that um, kind of like going again on top of that eye lines because I feel like it's it's not as black as I want it to be. So I'm just going to take that and start going on top of that. Okay, so I'm going to combine this one and this one and I'm going to blend that black and brown. Kind of like if we can have kind of like a little bit of a transition right here. Um, maybe it doesn't look as harsh. I'm going to play a little bit of that first black from the Beauty Bay palette and I'm going to put it a little bit on this corner right here on the sides of my nose and then I'm going to take that black and start blending it. I'm going to take that first one and I'm going to outline my temple, which would be I'm going to take a, a little bit of that first brown, the one that we put in our crease, and start blending this. Now I'm going to take um, a liner brush, which is a tiny little brush, and I'm kind of going to do the triangle underneath. For the eyebrows, I'm just literally going to like flicker. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a little bit of black liner on my waterline. And uh, I forgot to do the dot. 
kind of like down here. So I'm going to take the back of a brush and And now I'm actually going to do a really long, kind of like reaching the ends of my eyebrows. And I'm going to do a wing liner. And then for my wing, I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Mega Liner brush. gonna extend it a little bit on my inner corner. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna take this Maybelline uh, Master P Master Precise All Day Liquid Liner, which is a kind of I think it was a sample, and I'm actually gonna take that and kind of like outline my nose. I'm actually going to do a little circle right in the middle of my nose before I move on. So I'm actually going to take the back of another brush and I'm taking, this is a Too Faced uh, Melted Matte in the shade Lady Balls. So I'm just going to do a dot in the tip of my nose. And then I'm going to go in and fill in the rest which I'm just going to take uh, my grease um, my Grease Eyeliner from Zuba Beauty and I'm going to take my eyebrow pencil brush. I keep calling it pencil and it's really annoying me. And I'm just going to start filling in that nose. Um, let me see, let me see. Okay, so I'm going to, I think I'm going to work on um, kind of like the mouth here. And then I'm actually going to paint my lips red and then I'll go on top and outline the rest of my mouth. going to start working on my lines kind of like what follows here so I'm going to take that MAC 210 and my Grease Sweat Hydra Liner I'm going to follow the end of my lips here that but what I did is basically I'm extending my lips and I'm gonna blend that black on uh, with a black liquid liner actually and blend those uh, my red color and my black liner so I'm gonna take my Jeffree Star uh, weirdo liquid lipstick and I'm actually going to be using this to fill in those like the extension of my lips and I'm gonna blend that with the lipstick And with the same lipstick, I'm actually going to be outlining my lips. And this is going to take me forever, so I cannot talk. <laughs> and for that, I'm going to take a little bit of... Look at my hands. <laughs> I'm going to take a little bit of the glitter glue by Nick, or the Too Faced glitter glue. 
And I'm just gonna put a little bit on top. And I'm gonna be using a pigment, which this is the Starlight Pigment by Peaches Makeup. The Morphe 536. And then for my lips, I'm just gonna put a little bit on my Cupid's bow and kind of like in the middle of my lower uh, lip. Now I'm gonna do the lines for uh, my mouth and I'm gonna stick with that MAC 210 and my Silver Hydro Liner. And The only thing I have left are my lashes, so I'm gonna go put my lashes on and I'll be right back. So I kinda like undid my hair and I like teased it a little bit so it looks a little bit more crazy and I put in, um, I put this like flannel. So this is a completed look, I really hope you guys enjoyed and I had a lot of fun, a little bit of frustration because I know that it's not the best blending but it's, I mean it's Halloween and it doesn't have to be perfect. So you don't have to like do a super perfect like Halloween look. It can look kind of rough and you can still pull it off, you know? Um, so yeah, this is the makeup look. I am in love with how it came out. Uh, it looks pretty cool. Uh, and I'm going to go take this off because I have to get ready. Yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the little button down there. As always, all of the products that I use in this video and my social media are going to be linked down in the description box. And until then, I'll see you guys in my next video.